If you've already had a look at the um, passing get variables um, in an array through a URL, you'll understand the way that this works. Now, um, post is slightly different. What post does is it takes these variables, um, but this time the data is going to be processed through the HTTP post method. And the way this works is it will not display in the URL. So remember last time we had the index.php file, which is what we're working with at the moment. Um, and we had name equals uh, Alex and we had age equals 21. It's not actually going to do this. It's going to be completely hidden. But obviously um, it's it's um, more uh, common for things to be processed through post. Um, for everything really you should use it except if you need um, to have the the uh, URL um, containing this information like if you were posting it without a form for example if I told someone to go to um, this web address um, and then say at the end um, value equals something and I specifically redirected users or told users to do that that would probably be a, a viable way to uh, use this then however the post is um, like I said slightly different and what we're going to be doing in this example is following on from the get example we're going to be creating another form but this time um, we're going to be leading a user um, to a specific page if they've entered a password correctly so this is password basically uh, checking for a password so up here I'm going to start to create my form now the action is going to be the same we're going to index.php and the method um, is going to be post this time rather than the previous get so the method here is post we end the form and I'm just going to say um, something simple please enter your password Okay, and then we're going to do a line break um, and we're going to have an input type. Um, now let's just sort that out. And this time the input type is going to be password rather than text. This just basically the browser um, stars out or, or asterisks out the, um, the uh, text that's being typed into this field. And then we say name equals password. Oh, password if I can spell it correctly. Okay, so um, then we're going to break down again and we can just put, I've done that again, we can just put a uh, submit button in there as well. Equals submit. Um, no, what we'll do is value equals submit, that's the text that just that's displayed on the button. So let's just preview this to make sure it's looking all okay. Okay, so please enter your password. The password will go in here. You can see that um, the uh, browser's um, getting rid of uh, the uh, text that I'm typing in. And we need a way for PHP to handle it. The first thing I'm going to do is set the password that I want to work. And I'm just going to set this to password, a weak password basically. Um, now what I want to do is um, use the is set and the empty functions to check if the variable um, has been passed and whether it equals something or not. So I'm going to say if is set and then in brackets dollar because we are dealing with a function dollar underscore post and then inside there ooh, we don't need the semicolon uh, password. So essentially we're wrapping this post variable that will be uh, sent. Remember password here, the name of this field, corresponds to this inside here. Um, and we're putting that inside the isSet function. Now if this uh, condition evaluates to true, we can carry on. Uh, otherwise we can do something else. But for now we just want to show nothing. So I'm going to write echo submitted. This is just basically debugging. It's going to show me that the form has been submitted and that this password field is set. So let's refresh. I'm going to type anything in here, click submit, and we should be sent with a confirmation. There we are. So we'll refresh that. So this is evaluated to true if we've typed something in. If it's well, if it's set, we don't necessarily have to type something in. Now what we can do is on the same thing we can say and. Um, not empty dollar score, dollar score underscore post oh again we don't need that password so we're checking simultaneously if it's been set and that it doesn't and then that it's not empty the field isn't empty so submitted and filled 
Um, now, if I was to just submit the form, nothing happens. We don't, we're not given any message at all. Now, if I was to type anything in there and click submit, you can see that I'm, I've given this message. So we're double checking this is a really, really good way for form validation, uh, or basic form validation anyway. And you've also probably noticed that up here, we're not processing any um, variables like name equal, oh, well in this case it would be password equals, um, and I actually typed here into um, the password form like that. So this does no longer correspond to something that the user can see up here, which is again great because we're not showing the password data. So now, um, if the password um, has been, um, it, well, is okay, um, we can say echo out um, correct password. Um, I did mention at the start of this tutorial we'll be redirecting the user to a page. Um, I'm not actually going to do that in this example, I'm just going to print out a correct password. So at the moment the password equals password. Now what I want to do is um, is um, actually check for the right password. Um, because it's all well and good the pass someone typing something in and it being there, but um, we actually need to check if the password is equal. So we create another if statement and the block to follow, and we say if um, part or if dollar score underscore post password equals equals remember this is is equal to um, password remember the variable up here where we set the password then we echo correct and then otherwise echo in correct Okay, so let's give that a whirl, and then I'm going to give you a tip just to um, create your code so it's a bit more easy to use. So uh, let's just refresh the page. I'm going to type here in there and click submit, and we're getting a message just saying incorrect. Now, if I type password in there and I click submit, it says correct. So we've successfully compared a password through a form. Now, um, this part, this uh, value here. It's probably always best to, if we get rid of that, and we create a variable here saying password post equals, and we're gonna make that equal to that. Therefore, inside here, we can use it at a later date without having to refer to the post. So I can just say password post like that, simple. Um, and then it will still work, so password enter is correct.